everyone, welcome back. This is The Ben Nedger. This week we're going into a yarn review from Loops and Threads. Uh, this one is going to be their soft and shiny yarn. Um, it is going to be a much thinner yarn than we've done in the past. In the past we've done some much heavier, uh, thicker yarn, but uh, we just decided to go for a different route this time. Um, but also pretty cool for this is that I was able to get my hands on a couple different color schemes for this yarn. So, um... I'll give you my re review and then I'll show you some different color schemes so that way you can really kind of take a look at it. Um, so this is soft and shiny. Uh, there's about 200 yards per skein and it's a medium weight yarn. Um, so the first one that I'm going to show you is called Blue Lagoon. Um, so I decided to make um, washcloths out of all of these. So um, nice coloring. I can definitely see where they got the Blue Lagoon. Blue, blue Lagoon out of it with all the greens and blues in it so they did a nice job with the coloring um, and as, as you can see it does change colors quite a bit but there is pooling with some colors throughout which is nice uh, which I rather enjoyed um, because I I'm a fan of color pooling but also um, you'll see in some of the other pan uh, Watch cuts a little bit better. It can help with the pattern really well. So that way, in case you want to do something um, a little bit more complicated with patterns, this is a good yarn to use with it. Also, really soft. Um, again, I will always put the, the details of the yarn in the description below in case anyone is wondering what I got um, or is anyone is interested. So again, this one is called Blue Lagoon. Um, lots of blues, lots of greens going from back and forth, um, but they did a nice jo job keeping with the same color tones. The next one is, kind of, is called Moroccan Nights uh, Sunset. Um, so it's all reds and purples. I think this might be my favorite ones, uh, favorite one out of all of them. Um, I like the dark reds and the dark purples running throughout and there is some more colored pooling um, in this and there's a little bit of brown in there too so um, again I think this might be my favorite color scheme but it's very pretty um, so in case you want something colorful but also dark rich tones definitely go for um, the Moroccan Sun for the uh, the next one is called Blue Moon uh, yeah Blue Moon sorry just had to look um, so this one is contrast much lighter. So it's just blue and white, um, but again with the color pooling. So this is a much lighter tone than the uh, Moroccan Night. Um, so kind of different. I'm kind of glad that it they have a little variety in colors and it's not just all kind of very light or very dark. Each one is is kind of pretty distinct and different on its own so there's the blue moon and the last one is called starry nights so it is all just black and white in tone which is pretty cool because you don't normally see um black and white yarn together um usually you'll see black with other, other tones or white with other tones but you don't see black and something that's just solely black and white um so and gray well obviously gray um, but it's they did a very nice combination of all three colors for this and again pulling's pretty nice um, throughout all the different washcloths but also holds up a pattern really well so I definitely check them out it's also really nice and soft too so anyway I will see you next week if you have any other yarn that you want me to review let me know in the bottom comments below bye